Thank you so much for being here. This is a really exciting day for Vision Zero. Uh, this intersection, Truce to Missouri, is in the Columbus Park neighborhood. And um, we're really excited to show you what we've done here. I think, um, you know, I was thinking about it last night. I'm like, what makes this area so special? And when you come in here, you come off of um, the highway here, it kind of, the, the vibe changes, right? You see the trees. It's very quaint. This is a neighborhood. And so the last thing we want is people speeding in here. And so these upgrades that we have done really improve that. And so I'm really excited that we get to talk to you about that today. So first, we'll hear from the mayor. Then we'll hear from a Columbus Park resident. Then we'll hear from 4th District Councilman Eric Bunch. Then we'll hear from uh, the Director of Public Works, Michael Shaw. And then City Manager, Brian Platt. So I will kick it off with the mayor. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you all so very much. It is a beautiful Friday morning in Kansas City. One of the reasons I'm most excited is because the city manager's mother is here today. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. It's so good to see you. Don't hide back there. He's very excited to have you. Uh, I just want to just want to get people blushing occasionally. But uh, as we have been doing now for a little while in Kansas City, we're working on Vision Zero, which rather than something that should be scary for folks, is speaking to improvements in each and every part of Kansas City. Not only how we build roads, but how we rebuild and preserve our neighborhoods. The project here at Truston, Missouri is going to be one such example of how through design, we're making our community safer, we're encouraging walking, biking activities, and so many more, and making sure that every community truly is a part where no matter how you're getting around, we'll make sure that it's convenient, it's accessible, and it's safe for all of you. Here at Truston, Missouri, our main concern was that drivers were not stopping at the stop sign and excessive speeding. We saw that through excessive injury rates, high crashes, and beyond. The improvement that we will have here includes curb extensions and a flashing stop sign installed. Solar powered, by the way, which relates to some conversations we've had this week in Kansas City. We want to thank our contractors who are with us today, Mega KC and Gunter Construction, that worked on the Vision Zero improvements and intersection and traffic calming projects. And so far, as part of Vision Zero, more than 25 locations in Kansas City have speed humps, have raised crosswalks, curb extensions, and have new curbs. 20 in intersections have upgraded to lead pedestrian intervals, which gives pedestrians the opportunity to enter the crosswalk at intersections three to seconds, seven seconds, before vehicles are given a green light. And this can reduce pedestrian crashes, as we've seen it, by more than 13%. And we have 50 locations citywide that currently are in the process of improving pedestrian safety. The city's also in the process of installing more protected bike lanes for pedestrians, but more than anything, as we've talked about the summer of resurfacing, as we continue to improve our roads, our curbs, intersections, sidewalks, you see that Kansas City is committed to making things safe. Different than perhaps the Kansas City I grew up in and the Kansas City many of the rest of you grew up in. We're not just trying to keep up with infrastructure challenges. We're trying to do better each and every day. I thank so many of the folks who are standing behind me and beside me today. I thank our Public Works Director, Michael Shaw, who hit the ground running from the time he took on the position. Our City Manager, Brian Platt, now who has his father here as well. Welcome. Good to see you. All of New Jersey has come to Kansas City today to see our progress. But more than anything, I thank everyone in our neighborhoods and in our community. You have been asking for these improvements for years. You've worked with our police department, public works, and others to make sure we could be safer. And you're seeing us fulfill that commitment today. More investment in infrastructure can also mean more safety for our community, a more environmental city, a better city, and a safer city. Thank you all so much for being here today. And now I turn it over to a wonderful Columbus Park resident whomever that might be. Hey, oh, you are my Columbus. I know her. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Erin Royals. Hi, um, I'm Erin Royals, and I actually live right here on the 500 block of Troost. And um, one of the best things about living in Columbus Park as a former Longfellow resident, you can look around. Everybody has a porch. So we sit outside on our porch every night, um, even when it's really hot, because there is really great people watching and traffic watching. So that, that's like actually really critical here because I've gotten a front row seat to just how much of a speedway this street used to be. You know, people come off the highway and it's like, who can get to 5th Street the fastest? Or people whip around 5th and they're like on a drag race to get to the highway. It, it was just crazy. Um, we used to see so many near accidents, actually saw an accident 
Um, I have a dog, bless her, she's a little border collie mix, and so I walk her every day. And we actually used to stop going this way because we almost got hit a couple of times right here in the intersection. So I've actually kind of had an impact on my personal life. We walk this way now because people stop at the stop signs. There's actually crosswalks. So they painted uh, crosswalks as a part of the improvements and the flashing stop signs um, are really a game changer. I think that there is a, maybe a misperception that these stop signs are like old. The stop signs are relatively new. We got them back in April. I went to Alaska, came back, we had stop signs, and I was like, maybe I should go out of town more often uh, <laughs> because we had this improvement that we had been looking for for a long time. Um, but folks weren't stopping at the stop signs. Um, it was almost like a suggestion. So with the bump outs, you actually have like this physical thing that makes people stop. Um, I'm an urban planner by trade, and so this stuff gets me really excited, like how you can alter the built environment to alter people's behaviors. It's a little bit getting into the subconscious. People don't realize that, you know, they can't zoom down here anymore because there's something physically making them stop, right? And I want to sort of give people the benefit of the doubt who wanted to stop, but the stop signs have actually been moved. You used to come down Truce and you couldn't see the stop signs. But by them being reoriented, now it's physically like, this thing is flashing, this thing is red, um, I can't drive over this concrete because it's here. So you have all kinds of things working in concert to make people kind of change their driving behavior. So I'm really appreciative of this happening. If you can't tell, I'm a super fan. Um, we have been wanting this for a long time. And as a recent new person to Columbus Park, it's really great to see these changes happen fast, but I want to give credit to my neighbors who have been advocating for this for a really, really long time. And I think a number of them feel really just appreciative, like the city heard us and did something. So um, that's, that's where I'll end that. So thank you. Yes, R-O-Y-A-L-S, just like the baseball team. <laughs> yep, and Aaron is E-R-I-N. Hi there, um, Eric Bunch, Fourth District City Council person. Uh, just really happy to see this come to fruition. Uh, we had the idea just uh, maybe a couple of months into the, into the office back in 2019, uh, back in the before times, as I like to say, um, before the pandemic really uh, opened up our eyes a lot to see just how much we needed better public space. Um, but we had this little idea to to, to adopt a, a new policy called Vision Zero that really looks at traffic safety and traffic injuries as something that is is something that we should be focused on. Traffic injuries, serious injuries, and fatalities are are preventable. And so the whole idea behind Vision Zero is working towards zero fatalities, zero serious injuries on our streets. And so there's absolutely no excuses for it for us to not take action as a city council. Um, as and you'll hear from some city staff here soon, but it really is a it is a complete change in how we do things and how we uh, uh, approach street safety. And so it's little things like this, um, although this may seem little, but it really is big, and it really should be the way that we do streets in the future, um, because our streets are our most valuable public space or our most uh, used public space. And especially in neighborhoods like Columbus Park, it should be accessible by for everyone, regardless of what mode of transportation you're using, what what your physical ability is. And so um, this is just really fantastic. It's a first step uh, towards that end of ending all traffic uh, all traffic fatalities and serious injuries. And I'm really excited to have it right here in the fourth district in this amazing neighborhood of Columbus Park. Um, a big shout out to the Public Works Department, uh, who was instrumental in getting this done and instrumental in really moving the ball forward on this Vision Zero concept. And, and by the way, Vision Zero is not a local thing. Uh, we have adopted a local version of it, but it is an international phenomenon uh, to the point where it's actually been successful in completely eliminating fatalities in, in uh, certain European cities. We're a long way from getting there, um, but it's going to take little things like this, um, but implement it on a much larger scale and citywide. And so really thankful to, to you all uh, here today. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for being supportive of this project. Um, and and uh, Aaron, thank you for speaking about the sort of the neighborhood perspective as well. Um, so thanks, everyone, and excited to, to get this thing, um, get more of these in the city. So thanks a lot. 
good morning, Michael Shaw, Director of Public Works. Um, so first, I want to thank uh, Brian Platt's parents for making a wonderful guy. <laughs> he hired me, so I appreciate you and your efforts. And anything you need in Kansas City, let us know. Um, but I, what I also say is that, you know, as the Director of Public Works, you know, actually, my job is actually pretty easy. We, we listen to what the community asks for, and we deliver what the community asks for. It is actually a collaborative effort between community, our elected officials, and our staff that actually create the success that we have here in Kansas City. Accidents are preventable. And so with intentionality, design, and policy, we can actually improve the quality of life of Kansas City. We are doing this all across the city. We have many projects to do. We have many more projects to do. If we haven't been in your community yet, we're coming. Be patient because we are, we're at quote unquote ground zero of Vision Zero. And so understanding that we have a lot of growth and we're, we're excited about the growth and the opportunity. So we're gonna continue to make this community safe. I am absolutely um, excited about being able to provide value back to this community that provides value to me. So uh, with that, I'm gonna actually leave a lot of the great comments to Jason uh, Waldron, who is our Director of Transportation. His team is phenomenal. Uh, I see Uday Manapali here, and I see Bobby Evans here. These guys are the ones who are actually doing the work out here, helping us make these make your visions come true for your community here in Columbus Park. So um, after the city manager speak, I'll definitely uh, hope that Mr. Waldron come to the mic and, and give some great words. Thank you. No, you're not. No. Thank you all, Brian Blatt, City Manager. Thanks, everyone, for being here. This is an exciting moment for us. About a year and a half ago, we began our Vision Zero efforts to eliminate serious injuries and deaths on our roads. Uh, the approach that we take here is not unlike other cities in that we're looking to reconfigure the street geometry and the design of our streets to reduce the conflicts that different types of road users have, to reduce speeds of vehicles, and to make those streets more welcoming and inviting and safe both from an actual crash perspective from data, but also from that perception. Aaron's story is really important to us, that maybe this intersection isn't traveled by thousands of people every day. Maybe most people in the city don't even know about it. But to the people that live here, it's incredibly important. It's crucial that we make safety a thing of every neighborhood. We've got 6,000 miles of roads in this city, huge amount of roads. It's going to take us a long time. But we're being very aggressive and bold and innovative in our approach here. We've got 50 intersections that we're working on now. We've got 30 miles of protected bike lanes in our plan that we're well underway to hit by the end of this year over the first two years. And we've got a lot of work to do. So we're really excited about it. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for coming. We'll have a brief comments from Jason Waldron, our Director of Transportation. Good morning, everybody. Jason Waldron. Uh, thanks for coming out here. Uh, you know, so much has already been said, and it, it bears repeating that the accidents and fatalities in our roadways are not inevitable. They are pre preventable. And for so long, we have a history of roads determining what our neighborhoods look like. And what this Vision Zero effort is, is trying to, is an effort to have neighborhoods determine what our roads look like. So again, thank you all very much. Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate you coming out. Thank you. Thank you.